If you need to manage logistics or delivery performance within a supply chain, then Simple Sheets Delivery in Full On Time Template is just the tool you need. In this video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of this model and how you can use it to track your DIFOD data and KPIs. DIFOD, also known as Delivery in Full On Time, is a measurement of logistics or delivery performance within a supply chain. DIFOD is usually expressed as a percentage and measures whether the supply chain was able to deliver the expected product on time, in the correct quantity ordered by the customer, and at an acceptable quality. Our DIFOT template includes five main sheets that will help you enter and manage your DIFOT business data along with the description for each sheet. In the How to Customize section, you can see step-by-step -step instructions for how to customize the DIFOT template to fit your business data. The template also includes a short guide for how to use the template with Excel online compatibility. In the database sheet, you will set your database list, which will automatically reflect in the drop-down menus and related functions throughout the model. Then, list your product details according to the required field in the top header. Set your operation lead time and stock keeping time as described in the header notes. For the customer details section, set customer name list and related details according to the section headers. In the last two columns, you can set expected failure root causes that impact your DIFOT achievements, either on time KPI or in full KPI. On the customer order sheet, you will list out all of the received orders. Simply add a new order number and receiving date. The rest of the fields will populate automatically. From the customer drop-down list, select the related customer, which comes from the data entered on the database sheet. The rest of the customer fields are colored gray to remind you that they are auto-filled from the database sheet, so be sure not to clear the contents of any of the gray cells. From the product name drop-down list, select the product name from the related order. Set the customer order quantity. If the quantity is more than the minimum lot quantity, the minimum lot size achieved will be yes. Otherwise, the response will be no. Set the estimated date to start the production on this order. This will help you determine if you can meet the customer order date or not according to the production lead time for the product. It is an option to add the number of off days within the operation period. Finally, you will add the customer order required date or the target to deliver the order to the customer. Then the template will determine whether it is possible to fit the total work order at the required time. If possible, the answer will be yes, otherwise it will be no. On the DIFOT raw data sheet, you will list the progress of your customer orders according to actual delivered status. You can select the work order number from the drop-down list, which will already reflect the information you entered on the customer order sheet. The other gray cells on this tab will be auto-filled. Add the actual delivered quantity. Then, the delivery in full achievement percent field will be automatically calculated based on the required order quantity and actual quantity delivered. Then, add the actual arrival date to the customer and the delivery on time status and delivery gap in days fields will be automatically calculated based on the target receiving date and actual receiving date. The total defect quantity appeared at customer is an option if you want to track the quality status for the delivered products. Add the total defect products that were delivered to a customer for the related order and the quality percentage will calculate automatically. The last two fields will help you to track the root cause which affected the delivery in full or on time KPI failures. This will be represented in the model dashboard so you can improve these metrics in the future. There is also a remarks, notes, or other details field for you to add any other relevant details. On the work order tracking sheet, click the refresh button to update the sheet with your most recent orders. The work order tracking sheet makes it easy to see the customer work orders progress in a smart and dynamic list. You can see the remaining days to deliver, the delivery quantity, other product details, customer details, and delivery status. You can also see a bar chart that displays the total orders per month. You can use the slicers at the top of the page to filter orders according to various fields including by year, by month, by customer, by product, or by a specific work order. Finally, the dashboard tab allows you to visualize all DIFOT metrics in one smart view. At the top, you can see metrics that measure deliver in full, on-time progress such as total orders delivered, delivered orders in full rate, delivered orders on time rate, average delay in days, and quality status. 
The first bar chart represents delivered quantity per month compared to the fill rate status. The chart below shows how many orders were delivered on time compared to how many were delayed. The pie chart helps to analyze the failure root causes that affect the on-time in full delivery. The last two charts on the page help you to analyze delivery metrics visualized according to product name and customer name. You can also use dynamic slicers to change the dashboard view according to selected items which will help you to analyze and filter on a specific item or period. For example, by month, by year, by customer, by product, and more. For more templates like this one, visit simplesheets.co.